In this video, we are going to show you some Gmail tips and tricks that will make you an expert in Gmail. First, let's create a filter for specific kinds of emails like this one here. Search the term in the Gmail search bar. It will show you all similar emails. Then click on the advanced search option. Here, click on the create filter button at the bottom. Check the skip the inbox option. Then select the apply the label option. Click on the drop down and then select the new label option. Give a name to the label and then click on the create button. Then click on the create filter option. Now emails will be saved in the newly created filter instead of inbox. Let us show you how. We are going to compose and send an email with the same text in the subject. Enter some arbitrary content in the email body and then send. Let's check the email inbox. As you can see the email directly came into the filter we created not in the inbox. Second, we'll show you how you can customize user interface. Click on the gear icon at the top right corner of the screen. In the density section, you can change how emails will look in the inbox. If you choose comfortable then only the sender, email subject, and a preview of the body will get to be seen. The attachment will not be seen. If you choose compact then the font size will decrease further and you'll be able to see more emails. In the theme section, you can select from the multiple themes provided by Gmail. If you don't want to use the default white theme then click any one of them. With one click, you can change your Gmail background and make it more colorful. In the inbox type, you can set the priority of the email that you want to see on top of the inbox. For example, you can choose to see important emails first. Or you can also choose to see all your unread messages at the top like this. By default, there are tabs like primary, promotions, and social. You can customize them too. You just need to place a checkbox next tab you want to see and then click on the save button. As you can see, there are now five tabs. In the reading pane, you can choose the view of your inbox. By default, no split will be selected. By selecting the right of inbox, a reading pane will appear. Here you can read the email. And the same goes for the below inbox option. Click on the gear icon and then select the see all settings option. Scroll down and you will see the signature option. This will automatically insert at the bottom whenever you compose an email. This signature includes information like name, designation, contact details, etc. Click on Create New. Give a name to the signature that you are going to create. In the text area on right, enter the information that you want to add about yourself. Just like this, you can create another signature. Give it an appropriate name. Enter the information on the right. Use these options to increase the font size, bold, underline, link, etc. Once done, click on the Save Changes button at the bottom. And now, we'll compose an email. Click on the pen icon below to add a signature. Choose any one of them. As you can see, the email signature is now inserted in the email body. The next amazing feature is the Vacation Responder. What it does is it allows you to send a pre-written email whenever you are away or on vacation. Turn the Vacation Responder on. Select the first day and the end day of the vacation. Enter the subject of the email that you would like to send out and then enter the email body. You can add something like, you're out of the office or provide an alternate way of communication. You can also choose to whom you want to send this automated response. Once done click on the save changes button at the bottom. On top, you can see the vacation notification with the message. From here you can end the vacation or change the settings. Now we'll send an email. Choose the sender and then enter any random subject and email body. And then send the email. And now we'll wait for a few seconds for the auto-responder email. As you can see, we have got the auto-reply that we set. The content of the email body is the same as that we provided. This is the email that we just sent to test the auto-responder. In the see all settings, there is also an option called undo send. From here, you can increase or decrease the time period of cancellation. By default it's 5 seconds, you can change it to 10, 20, or 30. 
Select the Save Changes option to apply. Now compose an email, enter a recipient email address, and enter a subject and an email body. Click on the Send Email button. You can see the undo message is appearing here. The time duration of this option is also increased. Click on the undo option and you will see that email came back to draft. The next feature is called schedule sent. To use this compose an email. Put a recipient email address and enter any subject and email body. Now here, click on the downward arrow right next to send option. Here you can any of the predefined timing or you can choose your own timing. Select a date and time in the future and that's it. The next feature is offline email. To use it go to see all settings. From the top navigation, select the offline option. Checkmark the option called enable offline email. After that, you'll get to see the available storage for offline mail on computer. Choose the retention period for your emails. Then choose what to do with emails after you log out from the Google account. Once done, click on the save changes button. The next feature is stars. To use it go to see all settings. You can use all stars visible in here. Save the changes you made. With quick repetitive clicks, you can rotate the stars and finalize your selection. The next feature is email forwarding. To use it go to see all settings. From the top navigation, select the forwarding and pop IMAP option. Forwarding is disabled by default. You just need to add a forwarding email address. Then all emails coming to your email address will also be forwarded to the provided email address. There is also the option of POP and IMAP to access your email from any other device or software. The next feature is Keyboard Shortcuts. To use it go to see all settings. By default they are off. You need to turn it on and save the changes. These are the Gmail shortcuts that you can use. Right now only 20 emails are listed on a single page. You can change this number too. Click on the gear icon. Then select See All Settings option. In the Minimum Page Size drop-down, choose a desired count. Click on the Save Changes button. As you can see the number of email per page is now changed to 100. If you want to select a group of emails then you don't need to select them one by one. Instead, select the first email and then scroll down and select the last email while holding down the shift key. In this way, you can select the desired number of emails. Thanks for watching. Please like, 